Behind every great UFC fighter is an equally great MMA coach who does the work behind the scenes. As a fan of the sport, we often get fixated on the superstars in the cage and sometimes forget it takes an entire team to put together a training camp. To produce a high caliber fighter, several individuals have to do their part to make sure a fight camp is running smoothly. This includes dietitians, strength and conditioning trainers, and of course, the actual head coaches, who watch hours and hours upon film and spend several weeks crafting a game plan and overseeing the entire training program. For the most part, talented athletes find ways to rise to the top. However, that isn't always the case. Sometimes, coaching and mentorship can become the difference between a fighter becoming mediocre or turning out to be one of the greats. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of the best MMA coaches who have completely changed the lives of some of our favorite cage fighters. Number 5. Fernand Lopez brings Francis Ngannou from the streets to the octagon. Much has been said about how Eric Nixick of Extreme Contour has transformed Francis Ngannou from a one-trick pony to a well-rounded fighter, worthy of being called the best heavyweight on planet Earth. And rightfully so. After all, Nixick found a way to turn Ngannou's greatest perceived weakness into a reliable weapon in his toolbox. Under Nixick, Ngannou finally got over the hump when he dethroned Stipe Miocic at UFC 260 to become the new heavyweight king. He also defended his title against the man many believe was his kryptonite, his former teammate Cyril Gaon. However, we must not lose sight of the fact that Fernand Lopez, Ngannou's ex-coach, deserves credit for bringing the Predator into the MMA scene in the first place. Ngannou has always been honest that MMA wasn't his first love. The Cameroonian admitted that becoming a boxing champ was his lifelong dream. However, it was Lopez who recognized Ngannou's potential as a mixed martial artist when the two met each other in Paris years ago. Lopez persuaded him to pursue MMA instead, and the rest is history. On top of that, Lopez clothed, fed, and put a roof over Ngannou's head back when he didn't have a penny to his name. Without a doubt, Ngano and Lopez have one of the most inspirational stories in MMA. It's unfortunate that they had an ugly falling out, but they say time heals all wounds. Hopefully, the fighter-coach duo will be able to patch things up in the future. Number 4. Javier Mendez turns Habib Nurmagomedov into the 155-pound GOAT Former kickboxing champion Javier Mendez is a pioneer in the MMA world. Along with Dave Camarillo, Mendez founded the world-renowned American Kickboxing Academy in 1985. Perhaps one of Mendez's biggest achievements was helping Habib Nurmagomedov reach GOAT status. Of course, Habib has always been a talented fighter, as was evident in his Sambo career. Under the tutelage of his late father, Abdul Manav, Habib dominated the Russian MMA scene and eventually found himself fighting under the UFC banner in January 2012. However, Habib wasn't always the dominant fighter that he turned out to be in his prime. Needless to say, there were massive holes in his game, particularly in the striking department, when he first joined the world's most prestigious MMA promotion. Through the years, Habib's flaws did not get in the way of his career. Thanks in large part to Mendez's brilliance, no man was able to exploit any of Habib's deficiencies as he retired with a perfect record of 29-0. And while the Eagle is known for his wrestling-heavy offense and relentless smashing, Mendez revealed that his boxing is as good as anyone's in the division. According to the AKA coach, the Russian superstar actually wanted to showcase his striking more during his fighting days. However, he apparently advised against it, as sticking to their game plan is a guaranteed path to victory against virtually anyone. Number 3. John Hackleman Revives Glover Teixeira's Career John Hackleman first met Glover Teixeira under strange circumstances. In 2002, Hackleman cornered Eric Schwartz against an unknown 22-year-old who was making his professional MMA debut. That young fellow was Glover Teixeira, who lost his first outing via a second-round TKO. Even in defeat, Hackleman claimed that it was impossible for him to ignore the potential he saw out of Teixeira. So he walked over to the young upstart and invited him to train together. What they didn't know back then was that it would be the beginning of a 20-year quest to capture the elusive UFC gold. Tashir would go on to make his way to the UFC under the tutelage of Hackleman. He collected W's until he found himself opposite John Jones in a title fight in 2014. Although he fell short against the man many consider the GOAT, Tashir was able to establish that he's one of the top guys in the division. However, Hackleman admitted that his passion for coaching had faded a few years back. In 2017, he told his student that he was looking to explore different opportunities, and Tashira agreed. Tashira would go on to split the next two fights without his OG trainer. According to Hackleman, the loss to Corey Anderson in 2018 left a bad taste in Tashira's mouth. 
so much so that he called in a favor and asked Hackleman to train with him again. The decision paid off in a big way as Tashira since won six in a row, including a championship winning performance against Jan Blachowicz at UFC 267 last October. Number 2. John Kavanaugh and Conor McGregor take the MMA world by storm. John Kavanaugh has been by Conor McGregor's side from the very beginning of his MMA journey. Kavanaugh started coaching McGregor at the tender age of 18, when the future UFC champ joined Dublin-based Straight Blast Gym in 2008. Kavanaugh claimed that back then, he had already seen flashes of greatness from the notorious one, but McGregor didn't necessarily stand out from the rest of the pack right away. The vaunted trainer also revealed that McGregor wasn't even sure he was going to pursue a full-time MMA career at first. It wasn't until he captured the Cage Warriors featherweight title that McGregor decided to go all in. Needless to say, the partnership between McGregor and Whitman proved to be a massive success. McGregor went on to become the first fighter to hold titles in two different weight classes simultaneously. He is also considered to be one of the most iconic fighters in the sport and is still the biggest box office draw in MMA. Meanwhile, Kavanaugh's achievements were recognized when he was nominated for the World MMA Awards Coach of the Year in 2016 and won the prestigious honor the following year. To this day, McGregor trains at SBG under the tutelage of Kavanaugh. As a result, the UFC superstar has often accredited his story career to Kavanaugh and SBG Ireland. With all the ups and downs they've been through over the past 14 years, it isn't surprising that Mystic Mac has repaid Kavanaugh with his loyalty. Number 1. Trevor Whitman rounds out Kamaru Usman's game Trevor Whitman is regarded as one of the best coaches in MMA today. He is well known for being a very detailed oriented trainer with an exceedingly creative mind for the fight game. For that reason, it really wasn't surprising that, under his guidance, Kumaru Usman has blossomed into the top pound for pound fighter in the UFC. It goes without saying that Usman was already a championship caliber fighter before he paired up with Whitman. However, he used to be criticized for being a one dimensional wrestler, who is dominant no doubt, but has the tendency to put on boring performances, thus earning his nickname Snooze Man. That all changed when Whitman took the reins as Usman's head coach in June 2020. The results were instantaneous. In the span of a few months, Usman's striking has significantly improved under Whitman's watch. The Nigerian Nightmare showcased his newfound weapons during his 2021 rematch with one of the most feared strikers in the division, Jorge Masvidal. What was expected to be a wrestling-heavy performance for Usman turned out to be one of the most shocking moments of the year. The champ fought Masvidal at his own game and decisively won with an emphatic knockout. And that's our list. Did we miss someone? As always, don't forget to follow Sportskeeda MMA on all of our social media platforms.